this is Quasi Mobile, the Dairyland Digger. And I'm sorry I haven't been around lately to put up any videos. Unfortunately, uh, you know, of course, things have been pretty busy with the holidays. And, uh, well, I've also been kind of busy with my own personal health issues and also with uh, dealing with my car breaking down. So uh, it's been a challenge, and I really haven't been able to do much of anything lately as far as going out and doing some more digging. And, of course, the weather certainly here in Wisconsin is not cooperating. So, uh, but with that being said, though, um, you know, I do have a lot of things that I am grateful for, and uh, especially you, the people who watch my videos here on YouTube. Um, I'm grateful for our family and friends who love me and care for me, and I have a new apartment that I'm living in and I'm trying to get settled into, and I've got a lot of things to be thankful for. So, uh, this holiday season... Um, one thing that I wanted to kind of bring up, and I want to make certain I get a video out by Christmas on it, and I'm sorry, I'm really, really late on this, um, is I wanted to give uh, a quick shout-out to the people from uh, Root Assassin. They're the people who manufacture the shovel that I use. I know a lot of you have been making videos about some of the equipment that you use for the holidays, giving people some gift ideas, and I thought I'd give a quick shout-out again to the good folks at the um, at the Root Assassin. I'm telling you, this is a very, very strong shovel, and it's got these great kind of offset teeth here, and it's designed not only as a shovel, but also as a saw. So this really cuts through roots really good, really well, and also if you need to, while you're using it around the house, you can also use it to cut down tree limbs, or probably even trees. Uh, it's got a nice sturdy handle, a nice solid D grip up here with a really good rubber handle. And now this is the 48 inch model. This is the one that I use uh, mostly because I'm six foot one. I'm a big guy and uh, the little shovels are a little bit tricky for me. Um, but they do have a 32 inch model of this, which also works very well. And uh, speaking of which, um, as it is, now I'm gonna be putting a link below this video um, for you to go and check out their website and see some of, of the other shovels that they have, as well as uh, they do have a specialized rake that you can purchase from them, uh, all of which are all very good values. Um, now, the thing is, is that this particular episode is going to be a special episode because uh, basically uh, after working with some of the people at the Root Assassin, they were kind enough to send me one of these smaller 32-inch shovels to give away at, as a raffle item at the uh, uh, monthly meeting for the detectorist club that I belong to. It's called the Four Lakes Metal Detectors Club. Uh, I'll be putting another link for them as well underneath this video. And so what you're going to be seeing is going to be uh, the footage of me at the hall, uh, first of all giving an introduction, and then I'm going to have some of the footage of the actual raffle, and then I'll put up the person's name who won the raffle. And uh, I tell you, it was a woman, and she was very happy to receive the shovel. She was so excited, she could barely contain herself. In fact, uh, it was since it was at the end of the night anyway for our meeting, uh, she couldn't uh, contain herself enough long enough. She just went and grabbed her stuff, and she just ran out the door so she could go show her family the shovel that she won. And like I said, you know, these are incredibly sturdy, they're strong, they're sharp along the edge, and these work very well. And, you know, sometimes they say that uh, you don't have to dig that far down to get stuff out. Well, that's true. And so if you only need six inches, just use six inches of the shovel. You know, but this thing can go down, as you can see, uh, quite a good distance. I, just, I know that's over a foot long. I don't know offhand. I think the... Uh, um, the dimensions that are listed on their website. But this is a very, very hard, solid steel shovel. And it's got some very good welds on it. And it's definitely well worth the price. Again, not only for uh, doing metal detecting, but just about any kind of digging you can think of. So without further ado, here's the video. Hi everybody, this is Quasi Mobile, the Dairyland Digger, 
and I'm coming to you tonight with a special edition of my show. Uh, tonight I'm at a VFW in Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm going to be attending the monthly meeting of the Four Lakes Metal Detector Club. And thanks to Josh and the uh, Road Assassin people, I have been given the opportunity to give away a free small 24-inch Root Assassin shovel. And so now the thing is, is I've got the larger 48-inch one, and I was so over the moon happy with it and how well it works and cutting through roots and whatnot that I just you know had to let them know how excited I was about their shovel. And so in a response, they gave me a free shovel to give away to the members, of, members of the Metal Detecting Club here, the Four Lakes Metal Detecting Club, uh, so that they can have a chance to experience what I have and what probably many others have. Now, some of you may be wondering why I'm moving around right now. It's like, well, right now the only lighting I have is actually from a security light up there, and that tends to go off if I stop moving. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get set up here, and later on we're going to raffle this away, and one lucky winner will go home with this tonight, and they'll be uh, able to enjoy the... Uh, fine craftsmanship, the sturdy craftsmanship, and also these nice serrated edges here. You can see there, I'll get a little bit close up there. You can see it's like shaped like an alligator's uh, mouth or something. And they're offset, each tooth is offset from the other. And these are designed so not only can you cut through roots and what have you, but they're also designed so that they can be used as saws to cut through branches if need be. Uh, so far, thankfully, I haven't had to have that happen. I haven't had to use mine for that. But nevertheless, I have certainly come across a lot of roots. So um, I'm going to be videotaping the giveaway later on. Hopefully, everything will go fine. Um, but I have to talk to the president to see if we can get things rolling. Okay? Thank you very much. I'll talk to you in a bit. Just drop, put one little drop. You know, you, know, you wouldn't need much. That buck could, will smell that a mile away. Oh yeah. You know it doesn't. You know you can't see it probably. You can. Yeah, I no I I did two of them already. You do it this but <laughs> I'll just draw. <laughs> All right. Two seven one. Uh. <laughs> 